Welcome to the Central Jersey Arts Council. My name is Elham Fabe, and in today's Photo 103 class, we're going to dive into the white balance in photography, how to use it in our camera settings, and how to apply it in post. Let's get started. What is white balance in photography? White balance determines how accurate are the colors of your photograph. Digital cameras try to guess the right color temperature. In digital photography, the settings on your camera and external lighting factors control the white balance. All light has a color which has a temperature. Different colors of light create different temperature hues in your image. The color temperature scale used for light is the Kelvin scale. So what exactly is Kelvin? It is simply a unit of measurement for temperature and in photography, we most often use that measurement to figure out the color temperature of light sources. Often in photography, you'll notice that we use from 2000 K, K for Kelvin, to 9000 K. While editing a raw image in Lightroom, you can push your white balance slider all the way up to 50,000 K. Now, this is rarely used and it's most often used for a creative purpose. So it depends on what kind of image you're trying to project for your final draft. Before we go ahead into post, we're gonna go check our camera settings and how to actually adjust our white balance in our camera through the presets that they have. You're gonna look for AWB for your auto white balance. When you start getting a little bit more comfortable shooting outside, you can adjust them. You have a couple options like daylight, shade and cloudy which will all give you that warm tone that you would like to shoot for now you also have an option for fluorescent which is also another factor of warm tones however it does give you a little bit of red instead of yellow and tungsten for cool blue tones you also can use flash with your outside shooting or indoors which would add those warm tones as well and of course the custom settings in most cameras where you can actually adjust the Kelvin scale. We're gonna go ahead and take five images that I have taken in a previous event and go ahead and bring them in post to show you different variations of your white balance. Okay, so in Lightroom, I have five different images that we could choose from, all of which were taken in the same day in different settings. Now, you don't often have the chance to switch your white balance when you're running indoors and out to take your photo and go run back into that same environment. So everything will be done in post. So it's always a great idea to shoot in raw. I have my first image here where I got that great sun flare on the left-hand side, but it is giving me such a warm tone from this look. Now, I do have a preset right here that is on shade my original shot is actually a little bit more on the cooler end but just to give you an idea of how the white balance factor in Lightroom works is you can use the preset you can go for auto which gives it more of a cooler temperature you could even use this factor right here which will actually put your before and after images side by side and that's a really nice way to use uh, in editing to look at that type of color scheme and color grading that you're looking for. So, for this particular image, we have the as shot in the before beforehand left side corner. And for the right hand, let's go ahead and start exploring a little bit on our white balance scale. You could use all these presets listed on your right side, or you could even use the eyedropper tool. Now the eyedropper tool is actually a really fun tool to use if you're going quickly into editing and you want to just kind of take a dabble on how your image is going to look like at the neutral tones. So you're gonna take your white balance selector and hover over your image and pick a neutral color. So we're gonna go right here on his forehead, click on that, and it gives me what it thinks is the right white balance. I don't particularly like this color. It does give me a little bit too much of the blue tones as well as green. And what you can do from here is go into your temp slider and tint. So you could get creative here and start exploring with the slider scale. 
So this is what tungsten will look like if you're going from indoors to out. You could just go ahead and go into your white balance scale. You could use your eyedropper tool. Find your neutral color. So white, blue, gray, I'm sorry, white, gray, or black. And you could dabble on that. And it gives me more of a warmer tone that I'm looking for. In this case, it's a little too warm for me. So what I can do is slide the temperature scale a little bit down until I get that desired look. So around here looks pretty decent. We're at 7800K. You could even go ahead and use your presets. If you're not sure how to use your white balance slider just yet, stick to the presets and the eyedropper tool. Once you start getting a little bit more comfortable, go ahead and practice with that slider. There's no wrong way of doing this. It's all about the creative factor that you're trying to achieve. Now that I added a little bit of green into our image, it does give me that image that I'm looking for, which is a candid, quick shot outside. So I'm pretty happy with this image. I could show you the before and after. So you see how my before is a little bit more on the bluer side, it's a little cool. It doesn't give me the, the image I would like to go for, but with a little bit of adjustment in our white balance, we gave it some warmth and some color back into that photo. So I'm happy with this photo. We're gonna move on to the next. So here you have it, here's your final five images after we tweaked up everything on post on the white balance. The best thing about white balance is you can always adjust it, shoot in raw, practice your presets in your camera. That way when you go back into editing in post in Lightroom, you could always adjust your white balance accordingly and to that creative factor that you're looking for. I hope this helps and I hope this is a great introduction for you guys for your white balance and your photography skills. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe for more videos at the Central Jersey Arts Council. My name is Elham and I will see you later.